Hi, I'm Betty. Welcome to my kitchen. We were out to dinner recently, and for dessert, Rick ordered a Dolce de Leche cheesecake. I had something different, but I had to try it, and it was so delicious, I decided I had to make one at home. Well, I started researching recipes, and among the dozen or so that I saw, there wasn't one single one that contained everything I wanted. So, I put my own together, and that's what I'm going to share with you today. This cheesecake is cooked in a water bath, so the first thing we have to do is take our cheesecake pan and cover the bottom with foil. So, turn it upside down like so, and mold the foil around it. Flip it back over, and I'm just going to crimp the foil in. And there, that will all be set to go. The crust that I've chosen to make for this cheesecake is, uh, has a shortbread cookie base. I've used Lorna Dunes, and the package contains about 10 ounces. Of course, if you prefer, you certainly could use a graham cracker crust, but I do like the shortbread for this one. So to the cookies, I'm going to add a quarter cup of pecans, which I've toasted. Just plop them right in. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar, and I've got a quarter teaspoon of salt mixed in there also. So they just go right in to the processor. and. Turn this on and just process it until you've got very fine crumbs. That mixture looks nice and smooth, except I do see a little bit of brown sugar there that needs to be mixed in a little more. So we'll add our two tablespoons of melted butter. Sure, I get all of that in there. I'm going to pulse that just until you see clumps forming. There. That looks just the way I want. Now I can transfer this to my prepared pan. Spatula here. Now what you want to do is just gently smooth this out with your hands to get it nice and even. And once it's even, you want to start compressing it nice and tight. And get a good firm base there. And I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to bake this for about 10 to 12 minutes or until it starts to smell nice and toasty and buttery. That seems pretty good. I like to go around the edges because I want to make sure they're not too thick. Okay, now that is ready to go into my preheated oven. There it goes, as I said, for about 10 to 12 minutes. Beep. 
My crust has baked and now it's cooling on a rack. And while that's cooling, I've got the ingredients ready for the cake itself. And here they are. I have three eight ounce packages of cream cheese. I have a cup of sour cream, three quarters cup of dolce de leche from a, uh, I think it's a 13 and a quarter ounce can. And if you can't find dolce de leche, at the end of the recipe, you'll find instructions on how to make it yourself from condensed milk. I have a pinch of salt, two tablespoons of flour, a tablespoon of vanilla, a cup and a quarter of granulated sugar, and four eggs, which are at room temperature. So here we go with the assembly. To the uh, cream cheese, I'm going to add the sour cream, the dolce de leche, which essentially is caramelized condensed milk. Totally indulgent, very rich, and absolutely delicious. I'm going to add my pinch of salt and my two tablespoons of flour. Of course, the whistle in the background you just heard was my kettle. I'm boiling water to use in the water bath that we'll be baking this cake in. So the ingredients are in my mixer. You can use a regular uh, the paddle attachment or if you can find one with this uh, rubber uh, attachment on the outside, it's really wonderful. You don't have to stop and scrape down the bowl every couple of minutes. If you're using a regular paddle attachment, you do have to do that. Stop and scrape both the bowl and the paddle. We're going to mix this for about five minutes until it's absolutely smooth and fluffy and you can't see any lumps of cream cheese. Very important. So here we go. I can't see any lumps of um, cream cheese in there, so I'm ready to add my one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar. I'm going to put that in and again beat it until that is well blended. My sugar has mixed in well and now I'm going to add a tablespoon of good vanilla. You wouldn't want to put an imitation vanilla when you're using all these really good ingredients. Now we're going to start adding our eggs and we're going to add them one at a time and we're going to mix these just until they're blended. You don't want to over mix the mixture at this point. Um, it'll, it'll spoil the consistency of the cheesecake. So just until you don't see any more streaks of egg. I'm just going to add the last egg and let that blend in. There. That looks good. Now we're ready to transfer this mixture to our pan, which has the crust in it. And I will go and get that. All right, we're ready to pour this into our prepared crust. And doesn't that look delicious? That beautiful pale caramel color.
Now I haven't scraped this bowl at all, so I do want to, you to see the advantage of having one of those beaters with the, um, with the rubber side on it. it. It saves so much work when you're mixing, and it makes the mixing much faster, too. Once I've got this all in here, I'm just going to smooth the top out with an offset spatula. That looks good. Now it is going to get a topping after it has cooled and chilled. We're going to use the dolce de leche that was left over. And we'll complete that once, as I said, the cake has cooled and chilled thoroughly. Now I'm going to transfer this to a roasting pan and add the water, and we're going to bake it in a water bath. The purpose of baking it in a water bath is it's a nice gentle heat. And if you do it that way, you'll never get one of those nasty cracks across the top of your cheesecake. I want to add water to come up about one inch above my cake pan. I like to use a funnel when I'm making a water bath because it ensures that no water splashes on whatever it is I'm baking. Just let that fill up a little bit. I've lowered the temperature of my oven to 325 degrees, and we're going to bake this cake for about an hour. So here we go. Whoops. It's quite heavy. Set the timer for an hour. I've chilled my cheesecake in the refrigerator overnight, so now I'm ready to unmold it and apply the topping. And just release the sides here. And there we are. I can see a little moisture on top. So I'm just going to take a little piece of paper towel and very gently blot that. That quite often happens, but it's easily taken care of. Now this would be delicious just as is, but for a final finish, the dolce de leche that was left over from the uh, cheesecake itself is going to make a wonderful finishing touch. So we just scoop that out and with an offset spatula just spread it evenly over the top. Now they often say that food is the way to a man's heart. And that's probably true. And another saying is, no matter what you serve your guests for dinner, when they think about it, what they're really going to remember is dessert. And I can pretty much guarantee if you serve your favorite man or your favorite guest this cheesecake, it'll be one they'll remember for quite some time. It really is that good. So there we have the final finish to this beautiful cheesecake. There, it doesn't really need to be fussed with too much. And there you have it, Dolce de Leche Cheesecake.
I know this is one you're going to love.